Hey folks, this is Ray from DCGrammarCut.com here. Got a huge announcement today, which is that you can finally go ahead and stream Spotify on your Garmin wearable. This is something that folks have been asking about since Garmin got into the music wearable business last January. Uh, first with the 645M, which is the music edition of the 400 645, and then with the Phoenix 5 Plus series this past spring, or I guess in June, same time as the Vivo Active 3. Uh, prior to this, they had other streaming services, but nobody really cared or wanted them. Um, and they also had the ability to put your music on it natively, like mp3 files and stuff but again no one really cared that much i mean yes you did care but not really cared you really cared about spotify though like every single time i talked about music you said where's spotify uh, my answer was the same as it was then and now and always has been that was really up to spotify no matter how much garmin begged and how much you begged garmin that didn't really matter it was really about spotify deciding to go ahead and enable that platform. And finally, that is here today. Uh, so as of today, you can go ahead and download the Spotify app for the Phoenix 5 Plus series. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and run you through it, setting it up uh, and showing you how it syncs and all that kind of stuff from start to finish. Uh, what I've got here is all the watches. I've got a Phoenix 5 Plus that I've been using for the last couple of months actually with Spotify. Been awesome. I've got a 4Runner 645 Music. I've got a couple headphones. I've got some Power Beats or all the ones I've bought and uh, some Skull Candy ones and then a really crappy Amazon basic speaker so you can hear this uh, as to what it sounds like. And then I've got a Phoenix 5 um, Plus X or Phoenix 5X plus uh, watch here that will set up from start to finish. Okay, so in terms of the things that you will need to make this all work, one, you will need a Garmin Wear, and you're gonna need some sort of Bluetooth audio device. Again, it could be one of these three things here, or even like your car would actually technically work as well. And you need Wi-Fi. You need Wi-Fi in particular that does not have like an I agree login box. So like a Starbucks won't work and a hotel Wi-Fi won't work. It has to be like your home or office um, where you can just simply connect to it and be done. Kind of the same Wi-Fi that you've had in the past and every other wearable requires as well. With that, we need to go ahead and add the Spotify app. Uh, so what you do is you go in, into the Garmin Connect IQ store, um, which is the store on your, your mobile device in the app store there, and you'll download the app and push it to your wearable. It only takes a couple seconds to do that, really quick and easy. It uses Bluetooth Smart to push it from here to there, and you're done like in like 45 seconds. It's it's really easy. At this point, we'll go onto the watch itself and into the music menu. And this is basically the same from all watches from here on out. Uh, so I'm gonna go up here until I find the music menu. Uh, that's the one that simply has a big music screen on it, depending on whether or not you've actually used it before. I'm gonna go ahead and choose the enter button. And this watch is brand new, start from scratch. So um, it hasn't been used. So I'm gonna go kind of go through some of the prompts here to basically agree to this stuff. Um, kind of just showing you how to use music. Uh, pretty straightforward. And then we'll click OK. And now you see the new option for Spotify there. My music is what you had in the past. That's for, again, locally stored music. If you had other apps on here, like Deezer or something like that, that would show up as well. But we'll go to Spotify and we'll click the OK button in the top right hand corner there. Um, what that does is that automatically shows you on your phone uh, a notification that you need to authorize Spotify for Garmin. Uh, so you can see that right here. It's saying to go ahead and sign in on my phone. So I click the sign in button right there. And then a couple seconds, it pulls open the Spotify account page and then it authorizes it. Uh, super straightforward. If you've already authorized it on your phone, it will go by really, really quickly. And then a couple seconds later, it will show up on the watch as ready to go. So you can see now on the watch itself, it shows ready to roll. Um, we'll go ahead and click get started right here. Uh, and now you can just simply add music. Uh, so you can go ahead and click on add music right there and you'll see playlist, recently played, made for you, each of these different sections you go down into. So for example, I click on workouts right there, um, go ahead and I'll get the content from that. And this is actually content that Spotify has put together, uh, kind of like workout playlists, they're ready to roll. They're actually pretty good. I've been listening to some of these Spotify playlists over the last couple months, uh, not too bad. It's like there's beast mode there, there's um, the workout, uh, twerk out, uh, workout, rock me up and so on. These are all kind of predefined Spotify playlists that are there that you can go and add into or add to your devices, sorry. You can add podcast here. So if I click on this, for example, it's gonna pull the podcasts that I have on Spotify itself that are I've subscribed to on Spotify. Uh, so you can see like Casey Neistat's podcast there, the Tim Ferriss podcast. Um, I don't tend to use the podcast functionality in Spotify a ton compared to just the native iOS functionality. But what's cool about this and what's a secret little squirrel about this is this allows you to get podcasts updated via Wi-Fi to your Garmin watch. In the past, you had to do podcasts manually with the, the USB cable. It was just really, really clunky. Now it's Wi-Fi. So a neat little kind of secret behind the scenes trick there. Uh, I'm gonna go up and show you those some general playlists that I have in my library. So go to playlist, click OK, and it's gonna pull these playlists. These are ones that I've saved uh, in my Spotify account. 
Same is true for albums or artists or anything else that you have saved there. Uh, so you can see these ones right here. I've got like Starbucks Coffee House and Autumn Acoustic and Soft Jazz and more Coffee House. I've got a lot of Coffee House going on here uh, and kids tracks and all sorts of stuff. I've got a ton of content in my Spotify library. It's probably pretty excessive. Uh, in particular, I have like different folder structures and stuff. So you can see like relaxing music, kids music, French music, pop and upbeat, holiday music, fitness music, and so on. Each of these have playlists inside of it. Uh, so all that's there and I can eventually find those on here as well there isn't like the same folder structure as there is on my phone on this but most people don't use that and I think that's probably overkill anyways so I'm gonna go ahead and pick one of these I'm gonna go back actually and just pick the workout one because that's sort of the easiest one to do here I uh, go into workouts again it's gonna pull those down so now we'll go ahead and add the beast mode track to it by just simply tapping it right there and it's gonna search for the Wi-Fi network that I've already established uh, so as soon as that finds that network it's gonna go ahead and start downloading uh, and you'll see that here in a second it doesn't take more than usually just a, a few seconds to find the network start downloading um, as part of that of course is doing the authorization of this particular device that's the thing that you did earlier when you agreed uh, to the Spotify on your phone there so that this can go ahead and pull down that music for you automatically now one caveat to be aware of here is the fact that you do have, to have the battery above 50% if you want to download um, over Wi-Fi or you can plug it in so you can see right here it is below 50% there so I'm just gonna go ahead and simply plug this in right there got a battery pack handy there we go and then now it simply tells me for best performance, go ahead and plug it in near the Wi-Fi router as well. Uh, but otherwise, it's going to start stinking, stinking? It's going to start syncing Spotify in the background for you. Uh, so you can see right there, 0% per complete, 37% battery. So again, I'm right below that 50% marker that it talked about. Uh, now in terms of speed, uh, it kind of varies a little bit. In general, what I find though is that for every 10 songs you have, budget about one minute. Um, so if you've got uh, 50 songs, budget five minutes. If you've got 80 songs, eight minutes. And that's, that's a rough ballpark of how long it will take to complete that download. Um, now, while that's doing that, I'm going to switch over to my other watch here to show you what it looks like when you want to update a playlist. Uh, so let's say you've been using the watch for a couple days and of course Spotify playlists are dynamic which means that they're going to automatically update with new content as things go along. So we'll go up into the music section like normal here. Uh, let's see where we are in music. Here we go. Um, click the enter button there. Click that middle button into the library. I've got workout there. I've got the Spotify singles there. I've got add music and podcast. And I've got update downloads. Now I just simply tap this update downloads button here and it'll go off and it'll search for my Wi-Fi network. Uh, it's really as simple as that. And then again, the same process repeats where depending on how many tracks it has to do, it'll go ahead and take just a couple minutes to do that. Obviously it's much shorter if it's just downloading something that's smaller versus larger. And again, all this will depend a little bit on the speed of your Wi-Fi. In most cases though, the limitation is really just the wearable's Wi-Fi speed. It's not going to be as fast as a computer or your phone or anything like that. It's not designed to be it's designed to be low power and to save a bunch of battery life uh, so things do take longer than they might if you're streaming a 4k video on your laptop now I'll just do a quick walkthrough of the player itself in terms of how you would use it this is on the main watch face you just would go up to the music widget that you've already got there uh, this is it right here showing the current song and artist tap this right hand button there and I click play if I want to uh, so I did that you would hear it start playing automatically um, or I can press that pause button there I can skip tracks by this right there um, Pretty straightforward. Pause again, and I go into the library, press this left hand button there. This shows me my volume, previous, shuffle, and then up here is library. Uh, so now you can see the workout. These are downloaded Spotify playlists. So I have the workout playlist, 60 tracks, rock me up, Spotify singles. I can go into add music like before, update download music, edit downloads, which basically just remove downloads, view settings, and so on. But if I want to play a track or play an entire playlist, I just tap it and then automatically starts playing that playlist. Skip like before. Some of these songs don't quite start off as uh, loud. It's a bit harder to hear. Uh, but, you know, you can hear these things starting off uh, pretty straightforward. Now, of course, you can access all the same stuff in a sport mode as well. Just validate that you have the music page added to that particular sport. So if I was starting a run, I can access that from there as well. Uh, so go into the settings here, uh, and you can just kind of skip up back to the bottom by going through the top. Uh, click on settings, activities and apps. Choose a particular workout type you want. So in my case, I'm going to go to run. Click on that. Uh, and then we'll go back up there. I went a little too far down there. Run settings and data screens. I know this is kind of a long way through. Um, now, if you again just kind of skip to the bottom by going to the top, uh, you'll see the option to add new page and go down into this and you'll see the music controls page. Uh, now that shows you that exact same song we we're looking at just a second ago. And now this is on your workout page for run. So if I were to go back to the very beginning here, 
and choose to start to play or to start a workout, I choose run. And now if I go down into my data pages, you'll see the music control page. There we go. Very last one at the bottom right there. Right there. So there we go. Uh, and that allows you to control music while you're going ahead and actually in the middle of your workout. So there you go, a look at the new Spotify app on Garmin wearables. Definitely a huge deal for a lot of people, especially for me. Uh, I'm not really like a Deezer, Pandora, iHeartRadio, or even like local music person. I am Spotify through and through. I've listened to Spotify probably like 12 hours a day. So for me, this is like huge and massive. And since running with this back, I guess in August sometime, I've been trying this out. Uh, it's been awesome. Love it. It's probably without question my favorite Connect IQ app on there. I guess I wish I could see individual song album covers uh, within the playlist but that's just a, a nitpick for now anyways if you found this interesting whack that like button at the bottom there i appreciate it as well as the subscribe button we've got some more sports technology news coming up in the next few weeks here definitely worthwhile stay tuned for the channel for have a good one